Hey there, this is John Kelsey with uh, Red Rhino Estimating Software. I'm national trainer for Red Rhino. In this video, what I want to show and describe is how our pre-built assemblies, what we call assemblies, help you to double your estimating speed. Now right now I'm on the Red Rhino Estimating Software page ready to input materials. But let me go back. I'm going to reverse engineer this with you. I'm going to go back to the drawing right now. This is where it all starts. So on the screen here you see an example of a small commercial office and on the drawing you see different symbols okay now what I'm showing you is the relationship or the flow that you get from going from the drawing to doing a material list to inputting the materials but again my purpose is, is showing you how how assemblies save you a ton of time okay you can save a lot of time in fact a lot of people say they can double their estimating speed using Red Rhino software a lot of it's because of these assemblies. Now on this drawing you see symbols here. Now you see, uh, th again this is an example of a commercial office. You see um, highlighted areas here. Now this is where I actually did counts. Notice here there's receptacles, there's fixtures in the middle here, two by four light fixtures, and there's two by two fixtures over here. Now, I'm going over this real quick, but again, my purpose is to show you how to use these assemblies. Over here, you'll see a data stub up, okay? So I counted those and I highlighted those in red. Now here's the relationship. The, the basis of estimating is to make a material list, what we call a material takeoff, to, to make a list of the materials. And this is a form that we provide you with. You can print out these forms and use them to do your material takeoff. Notice how I counted nine duplex receptacles here. One, um, one 20 amp quad receptacle. And again, I'm going to input these into assemblies. Here's a single pole switch, a two pole switch, a data stub up, okay? Then there's the fixtures here. And then I actually took off some uh, conduit and MC cable. Down here is 4S boxes and then circuit breakers. Now we have all these items in the material catalog of Red Rhino, or rather it, it, all these parts and pieces in Red Rhino, but I'm going to show you the assembly piece of this, okay? Now I'm going to go to Red Rhino, and again I'm logged in, and this is our assembly catalog. So what you do is you take your material list, what we call the takeoff, you take your material takeoff list, and you come in here and you start inputting materials. Now when you know what assemblies are in Red Rhino, then you can quickly input them, and the key is learning this. And just to show you this at the top, see we have video clips. These video clips are, are little video snippets that show you exactly how to use Red Rhino. So we don't leave you stranded. We, we have training videos for you um, that you can watch anytime. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to input the receptacles. I'm going to click on the little plus sign next to receptacles here, and you'll see it opens up subcategories. We have receptacles with plastic plates. Now these are assemblies again, stainless steel plates, weatherproof, miscellaneous, and masonry. Okay, I'm going to drill down into receptacles with plastic plates. And when I do, let me collapse this or move it up so we can see it good. It presents a list of assemblies. Now I won't go over all of these, but just notice that we have 15 and 20 amp. We have specification 1 and spec grade 2 and standard. Now I'm looking for this specific assembly right here. This is a single, it's a one receptacle, 20 amp, 120 volt plastic plate frame. Now I'm going to put in nine of these. Oops, that's zero. Here, let's do it again. I'm going to input nine of these and I'm just going to click add. Now when I do, I'm going to go ahead and save this. Notice how it, does, it puts a description of the assembly. It, it, and then the components in that assembly are below it. It shows a 4S box, a one gang ring, this, there's 50 cents for mounting hardware, there's duplex receptacle, a plate, a ground pigtail, and, and um, wire nuts, okay? So again, what it did, what, what I did was I input nine receptacle assemblies in here. It spit out nine boxes, nine rings, and so on. Now also, just an extension of that is, is that we have material pricing for these items, and then it shows the extended price, and we have labor pre-built in the, in the program, and it shows extended labor. So it shows the, the, the description of the item, the quantity, um, and then the components, all the components to make one. So hypothetically, guys, do you see how you can just go count all the receptacles on a commercial project? And by the way, we have these for uh, residential also and light industrial. 
but see how you can just go count all the receptacles on the entire job, come input them here, and it spits out all the labor and materials for those. Let me let me show you another example. I'll show you the next example on my takeoff sheet. On my takeoff sheet, I'm going to blow this up, we see that we have five data stub ups. And so I'm going to go into Red Rhino now. I'm going to drill down again. I'm in the assembly, the commercial assembly catalog here. I go down to phone data stub ups, click on it. When I do, now I have this blown up, I have to move it up so we can see it. Notice how it has data stub up assemblies. One gang ring with pull string, two gang ring with pull string, one gang ring with 10 foot of three quarter inch EMT. You see what I'm talking about? We have pre-built assemblies here, so all you gotta do is go put in the quantities. I'm gonna say it's a two gang ring with 10 foot of three quarter. I'm gonna put in five of them. When I input five, I click add, and when I do, it populates over here to the right. Let me move some things around so I can see this. Then I just click the Save button. Now, again, on this assembly, do you see how it, it uh, input the assembly? Here it flashed and it saved. I, I actually see that I accidentally input two of those, and um, I could just easily delete those. But notice how it input five rings, 50 feet of conduit, five feet of supports, a pull line, 70 feet of pull line, and 10 insulated bushings, okay, for both ends of the conduit. Now, I want to I want to kind of launch this thought ahead with assemblies. You see the relationship between the blueprints, the material takeoff, and coming in here and inputting the materials to Red Rhino. So I want you to think about this for a minute. What if you're bidding a job like a multi-unit apartment complex, okay, where they have where they have um, the same type of apartments, um, same same room styles, or I should say same apartment styles, maybe three different models. Now here's what I want to tell you about Red Rhino. The key is understanding how you can use these assemblies, and it'll increase your speed. It helps double your, your speed. But an extension of that is, as a customer, you can actually build your own assemblies. Okay, so what you do is you look for assembly opportunities. And what you'll do is when you're bidding a job with a lot of repetitive work, say hotel rooms or or uh, apartments, then you can go build an assembly for just one apartment. Okay, and after you build that one assembly, you have to just count the number of apartments, come here and into Red Rhino and input the number of apartments, and it'll output or show all the materials and labor it takes to install all the rooms. You get that? So that's how people double their estimating speed using Red Rhino software. And again, we have video clips for you to learn all that. Okay, so I already showed you the relationship between the material, or I should say between the blueprint material takeoff form or the material list and the assemblies. Now here I want to just highlight how we have um, residential pre-built assemblies also. I've opened up the residential catalog or the assembly catalog for residential here, and we see that we have separate categories. We have assemblies for receptacles, switches, lighting, ceiling fans, smoke detector, bath fans, um, low voltage, doorbell, panels and home runs, and then appliances, dryers, hot water heaters, range, oven, etc. Now, let me show you an example of how you can use these residential assemblies. Again, you already know the relationship between the blueprints, the material takeoff process, and now I'll show you the output from Red Rhino for these assemblies. Now I'll just show an example of using one of these appliance assemblies. So I'm in the residential assembly catalog. I'll click on this assembly category, dryers, hot water, heaters, ranges, ovens, etc. And I'm just going to input, uh, let's say, a uh, an assembly for a 30 amp dryer receptacle. So I'll put in a quantity of one here. I'll go up to the top here and click add. When I do it, populates over to the right. Now just uh, real quick, it shows the assembly. Um, name at the top and then the components in that assembly. Just real quick we see that there's a one gang plastic box here, a dryer receptacle, a cover plate, there's 65 feet of Romex. Now I happen to know, now I'm being hypothetical here, but let's say I happen to know that that Romex run is actually 95 feet. I'll just go in here and change it real quick. I'm going to change it to 95 feet 
It includes a one or a, rather a, it, it includes a two pole 30 amp circuit breaker, some stables, and drilling holes or labor for drilling holes, okay? And I'll just click save on that. Okay guys, so again, do you get the idea how these assemblies, these pre-built assemblies can help you double your estimating speed? That's what Red Rhino is all about. We, we want to be able to provide and software for you where you can bang out these estimates a lot faster so you can go on and make more money.